What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I ordered myself this shelf. It's a three-tiered metal chrome silver finish uh, shelf. Got it from Amazon. I don't remember the dimensions exactly, but I think it is about a foot, about 13 inches deep. It's about two feet wide, 23 inches or so, almost two feet wide, and then a little under three feet tall, I believe, about 32 inches tall, and it's gonna roll a little bit. So the cool thing about this, and these kind of shelf-like carts, you know, are great for a lot of things. They're the kind of thing that you might see like in storage rooms or in kitchens, etc. Obviously, this one's really small. You can get these same types of things in a much larger configuration. But uh, the, the thing about the small one like this is it kind of works like a cart. And what I'm going to use it for is uh, storage in my attic. And so it's kind of the best of all worlds. I don't necessarily need just to install permanent shelving uh, with spacing. I can just use the, uh, this thing. Now, uh, you have three shelves. And what I can tell you is that there's definitely a top and a bottom. I'm not sure which is which. Uh, I actually think that this is going to be the top. I actually kind of don't wouldn't mind installing these upside down because this edge here can kind of work to hold the things in place. But I think because these crossbars here would kind of create a lot of unevenness, if you put them under there, then you have these long bars that are kind of working like a barbecue grill top. It's nice and smooth. So I believe that's the top. And then we have packages of two of these individual bars. And so there is a top and a bottom section because the, uh, the <laughs> what they call an up pole and a down pole. So you can see here that these have a threaded end, a male end, and they are going to, you know, the ones without it are going to have a threaded female end so that I think they're going to go into each other. And so the top pole or the up pole is going to be on the top, kind of pressing down the pole. In this bag, now, uh, are actually they're not rolling wheels I guess I was getting too excited they're just kind of like feet so all right so I only have feet and then you have these little two sleeves and they kind of lock together and they have ridges on the inside kind of like uh, cam bearings and they lock around the pole and then fit inside and then kind of jam into the hole here and hold the shelf at a one particular level because you have little notches all up and down the poles. All right, so now that you see all the hardware, let's get this thing put together. So I got it set up here and it's not too terribly hard to do. It's going to take you a few minutes, but um, the cool thing is these little caps that I was worried that I might have lost are just per for packaging. Uh, I think just to kind of keep the, the trays from banging into each other in transport. So you don't have to worry about those. Uh, the, the feet here are just little screw in feet. So they're infinitely adjustable technically. And so to, depending on what kind of floor surface this is going to sit on, uh, you should be able to adjust it so that it doesn't wobble, which is pretty nice. Uh, a couple of tips and tricks is that, one, you can obviously, based on where you attach these little plastic sleeves, put them at any height that you like. Um, I've just spaced out the, the uh, shelves kind of evenly as much as possible. But one thing that you will note is that, you know, when you put these on, they're going to kind of, one, they have... A top up so you're gonna put it on and then you can kind of slide it until it it clicks into place so you can see there it kind of slides and right there kind of clicked into place so you're gonna to want to find that notching so one it's gonna hold the shelf in place but then two uh, the the sleeve this pipe here this tube isn't gonna fit over the plastic if it's not in that slot it's gonna hold it too far out and so it won't even kind of fit over it and then you're just going to press them down. In fact, um, you know, once you get it right, you're not going to see much plastic. In fact, I've got to adjust these right there. But this is what you get. And, you know, for $35-ish, you get the whole thing, uh, obviously in the chrome finish here, but it also comes in a black finish as well. And so probably just a nice little usable utilitarian shelf 
for not a lot of money that you can assemble at home and this metal construction should mean that it's going to hold up for the long run so there it is i picked it up from amazon but uh pretty impressed with it might get a few more of them peter von panda out